Welcome back to the channel. Today I just finished my 3D printed hydroponic tower. Um, I just wanted to show you guys this today. It is um, six layers tall. Uh, some of the layers have four and some of them have three holes in them. They're two inches. I am growing strawberries right now. The top had Albion strawberries. The bottom right there in front of you that is seascape strawberries. I use pool noodles to hold them into those net pots that I printed. Um, so I wanted just to show you this, right? There's another part of my pool noodle that I just cut in half. Um, so right here's my Albion strawberry and check out how I use the pool noodle inside to hold it. Um, since the pool noodle does absorb water, uh, some people are saying I was kind of cautious on it. I'm gonna watch it very carefully. You can see um, I have my net pot, it's two inches. And then, um, I have my top here. I have a little leak earlier. Um, so if anybody has any ideas how to seal that, please do let me know. So far, what I did was I had to go inside and um, take my pump and adjust the flow so that it doesn't push too much water through the system. Um, down on the bottom, you see my base is blue. Um, and I, ha I um, printed that. That was from thingiverse.com. Uh, someone has a five gallon bucket lid adapter for that hydroponic tower i printed that because the first one i printed that came with this 3d model it was very flimsy and weak and i like this one it has a quarter inch screws about a quarter inch by one inch to make it work um, right here i'm going to show you a sample of my net cup um, heavy filament i probably recommend you guys use something else like a two inch net pot that you can buy look it's like raining inside um, you can see how the water would trickle down like that and hit the root so we get some air i'll pull out my other uh, net cup over here with strawberries in it. Check it out. There's my roots inside. Um, they are getting flooded. I do not have a timer on this thing yet. So I'll uh, probably come in the mail in a couple days. I'm just going to keep an eye on it and um, hopefully my plants don't die. One other thing is you want to make sure this thing is level um, just in case so that the water doesn't overflow off the thing. And then um, right here, there's my two inch net. I did, can put a two inch uh, pool noodle in there, or you can also put a two inch net cup, uh, probably on Amazon, they have some, with like some heavy duty uh, rims. Okay, so um, over here, I once wanted to show you what I've done over here. I've got my 3D printed um, tower there. Um, it's one piece, it has four uh, holes for net cups, and um, I have a white net cup in there. That is two inches. That uses a lot of filament, like I said. So you guys might want to um, print something else. There's a top piece on the back. Um, and there's a hole in the back for a little fitting back there. That's three eight inch. So if you guys are gonna print that and use it, you know, get a three eight inch uh, vinyl hose. I got that at Home Depot. And then I'm also using this fertilizer. Um, there's Alaska More Bloom. It's zero, 10, and 10. Uh, to make up for the nitrogen content, I put this other um, fertilizer in there um, I used about two teaspoons for that for five gallons that is a um, 15.5 I believe uh, for nitrogen content and uh, yeah, on that flower bloom uh, 0 01010 I used um, let me see about three capsules to the five gallon and there's my two inch pool noodle it's about two inches wide and I would say about maybe three four inches um, long I was able to make one set for the whole thing and I had about four extra pool noodles to go but um, I'm gonna get some net cups um, right there that there you can see I can have a big hole in there you just cut another part of the pool noodle and stick it in there uh, when you put your plants in just be careful when you put in don't squeeze your plant to death right and over here I'm growing some manila lettuce and um, there's my seedscape strawberry so if you guys have any ideas uh, how to put something in there maybe like clay balls or uh, cocoa core please let me know and uh, any tips on how to keep this uh, from dying and with my hydroponic solution um, maybe your timer settings let me know I will um, make another video on this to keep you updated thank you so much for sub uh, subscribing to the channel hit the like button let me know what else you want to see on this hydroponic tower